Hi, Hi there, Nuno. Um, Hello, Tony. How proud are you of your players tonight for that performance? I'm proud, really proud. That's a good word. That's a good word. I'm proud because it's, it's very hard the way we start the game, starting very badly, conceding a goal. But um, after that and during the game, uh, I think we played a good game. Goals, of course, are proving quite difficult for your team this season. Without Raul Jimenez, is that the biggest challenge just now, trying to find a way to adapt without him in the team? We have a um, huge challenge. All the teams uh, this season, I think, is probably one of the most demanding seasons for, for all of us. Um, of course, when you lose a player, it becomes harder. At the same time, um, we have young players. Um, probably, if things didn't happen, Unfortunately, the way that happened, many of the, those didn't have the chance to play together at the same time. But um, I think um, they did well. Uh, it's up to us to to improve them, and um, it's up to the team to find solutions to to try and find the goal. Something that uh, usually Raul give gave us. So everybody has to to step in and and, and contribute to that. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nuno, Pedro Neto has made such a, a lot of improvement over the past year. What, what, what do you put that down to? Because he's playing every game and he's working very hard. Um, he joined us last season. And even last season, he, he started, I think, in the second half of the season, really to understand uh, the dimension and the... Um, uh, the competition of the Premier League, uh, how hard it is, especially for offensive players, players that like to, to dribble and go 1v1s, is very, very physical. But I think he's reading his actions better as time goes by and um, he's doing a good work. But we, we expect them to sustain and, and improve some aspects of his game that really has to, to improve. He has ability and is versatile to play on both sides of of the attack, but the actions must be more accurate um, when he changes sides. Something that we, we look at and and we try. And you scored a goal from a set piece tonight. That's something you've been talking yeah. about for a while. Were you yeah. pleased, must be pleased yeah. with that? Look, I think it was you, though, that mentioned something about the, the short corners and the corner situations. And for, for example, today we didn't have the big players that we usually had, like Leander, Bolli. And um, we change, we go to straight corners and there's no there's no scientific reason for reason for it. We always try to, to look for the best. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So we are we are we are aware. But for having solutions is good. It's good. No, no. Can I ask? That's um, three games in a row we've scored goals in the last last few minutes. What does that say about the both the desire of the team, but also the fitness levels, particularly at this time where there are so many matches? It's a mix of everything. No, it's not only has to do with uh, with fitness. It has to do a lot of uh, of the belief. It has to do a lot of the of the spirit of the boys. Um, it doesn't take away. Uh, that today was was very hard on them. So next game we'll have we'll have clearly um, issues because of the effort was was huge. I think after the first minute we conceded, every action of our player was was very intense. They were very aggressive. They they were always uh, trying to reduce spaces on the very good players of Tottenham, and that requires a uh, beside the fitness a good. Uh, I would say a big heart, um, a will to do things to, um, to help the team. This is our spirit and we want to continue like that. But um, even in the last minute, we had a good chance. So we always want we always want to stay and make, make things happen until the, the last minute, uh, the last whistle of the referee.